Fantastic Four reboot comes out this August and the latest trailer came out. I noticed that the colors have been switched from red to green and my guess would be that this other dimension that they go to is actually the negative zone which is very important to the Civil War. In the first trailer the area was red and it looked like molten lava and then now in the newest trailer everything is green. This actually might be the negative zone which is an alternate dimension that Reed Richards and Iron Man use in the Civil War to actually put superheroes who disagree with the superhero registration to kind of neutralize their powers. It could actually connect the Fantastic Four to the Marvel Cinematic Universe in that way. Now, they're currently filming Captain America Civil War, and the Fantastic Four reboot comes out this August. I think since Sony is working with Marvel to use Spider-Man in the new Captain America movie and share the character, I think something could be done to connect Fantastic Four to the rest of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Technically, Fox Studios owns the rights to Fantastic Four. They also own the rights to X-Men. That's why we haven't seen some sort of crazy X-Men, Avengers, Spider-Man crossover is because they're owned by different people. But if in the trailer what was switched from red to green is the negative zone, then that could tie directly in to Marvel Cinematic Universe, but we'll just have to wait and see. Would you want to see Marvel and Fox team up to bring the Avengers and the Fantastic Four or the X-Men together in some sort of epic crossover movie? Would you want to see any sort of cameo crossover between the two, even if it's something just as small as seeing Reed Richards in the Avengers, or vice versa? What are your expectations for this Fantastic Four reboot? What do you think of the cast? Post a comment below and let us know. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and watch more videos. As always guys, it's a pleasure. Thank you for watching. John Bernthal has just signed on to play Frank Castle slash The Punisher. Here are five things that you totally missed while watching the Suicide Squad trailer. The filmmakers decided to leave out Deadpool's schizophrenia. Deadpool is not all there.